Over the past several months, Microsoft made changes to how the audience network plays into your search campaigns. Many of our clients started to see weaker performance because we could not turn off the audience network, and in some cases, we couldn't even bid down on the audience network. So we were wasting a lot of ad spend, getting nothing in return, and of course, really dropping our click-through rate. Clients didn't like it, but we found a way that we can still try to exclude the audience network from showing our search ads, and we'll show you how to do it in today's Paid Media Pros video. Before I jump into Microsoft Ads, I do want to explain what the Microsoft Audience Network is. Microsoft's Audience Network allows advertisers to place cross-device native ads on a variety of Microsoft sites and other properties. We see some of the examples at the top. There's Outlook, Fox Business, CBS Sports, MSN is a big one, and then of course the Bing Network. Dropping down a little bit, we see examples of the ads that can be shown. There are image ads, product ads, and of course the ones in the middle that could be affecting your performance, text ads are also included. To compare this to Google, when you set up a new Google campaign, Google has the box checked within your campaign settings to also allow your search ads to be shown on the display network. This is something that we typically uncheck right away. So essentially Microsoft's audience network is their display network. The difference here is Microsoft no longer allows us to uncheck this audience network box your search ads are now automatically included to show on the audience network and we cannot remove it. So now I'm going to go into an actual client account using Microsoft ads to show you a scenario that we have been seeing a lot for our clients. This is a client that just started recently testing Microsoft ads. We imported our campaigns from Google ads. So spend isn't that high. However, we're already seeing the impact of the audience network on our search campaigns, but this is something we've already caught and corrected in most of our other client accounts. To see how the audience network is performing for your search campaigns, in the main campaign view, go to segment. And I know I talked about the audience network, but we don't want audience, we want network. Audience will be your remarketing audiences, your customer list, that sort of thing. So again, we want network. Let me jump down a little bit. And here we can take a look at this first campaign. And here, most of the spend is on the actual Microsoft sites that we want. But the audience network has a really low click-through rate affecting the overall average. No big concern here because the spend is not even $2 for the month. As we drop down to the next campaign, the audience network still not giving us any conversions, spending 36 bucks, really low click-through rate. Brand traffic, super low spend, extremely low click-through rate. But if we look at the bottom campaign, which is targeting competitors, we see the majority of the ad spend in this campaign is for the audience network and click-through rate is really low and it's giving us nothing in return. This is just one example. We have other clients where the audience network was spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars and giving us nothing in return because the intent is totally different. Someone going to bing.com, typing in a search term, that shows a deeper intent. Someone reviewing the news on msn.com, they're not looking for what you're trying to sell. So it's a higher level intent or no intent at all. They weren't actively looking for your product or service at the time, which is why we have seen the audience network for the most part have a negative effect on our search campaigns. There are a few instances where the audience network has gotten us more affordable conversions, and I'm okay taking a really big hit on click-through rate if I'm still gonna get affordable conversions. But these aren't the search partners like Google. What we're seeing so far is that the audience network just isn't delivering for search campaigns. It works great for standalone audience ad campaigns, and you can watch a video about those right here. But we wanna turn these off for the most part in many of our client accounts. And we used to have the ability to turn it off completely, that feature is now gone in our accounts. If I click on this competitor campaign, and then I'm just gonna click on one specific ad group. Next, I'm gonna go into the ad group settings. Next, you'll wanna click on advanced ad group settings to open up further options. I always have mine open to see everything, but you're gonna to have to open up this menu so you can scroll down and see additional options here. And if we look at ad distribution, we see that all options include search and audience ads, even though I'm running just a search campaign. Even if you change it to sites and select traffic, it will still be on Bing, MSN, Outlook, as well as partner traffic like Yahoo. If I go back up to the campaign, so now we're in the campaign settings, scrolling down here, we don't see other settings because typically that was controlled at the ad group level. So now the question becomes, what do we do? Well, the first thing we like to do is to see where our search ads are appearing besides Bing.com. And to do that, we can head on up to reports in the top navigation. Under default reports, we're gonna head on over to performance, and then we wanna look at website URL. Right now it's showing us every campaign, but if you have a lot of campaigns, look at adding a filter. For me, I wanna look at the specific network. 
So I'm gonna pick just the audience network in this filter. Click apply. And then for now, I'm just gonna start looking at the most impressions. We are running separate audience ad retargeting campaigns. So let me add another filter to include just my search campaigns. In this case, I'm gonna choose campaign name and we have search included in all of our search campaign names. So that's easy enough for me to just click apply. And now we're looking at just our search campaigns, still sorted by the most impressions. And if we look at this column here that I am highlighting, we're getting a list of the website URLs where our ads are showing up the most, offerup.com. Some of the most common ones that you are going to see is gonna be msn.com, theoutlook.live.com. And if we keep going down, it's just a bunch of websites that just have nothing to do and we just don't wanna show up here. So this is a report that you can save and come back and review later on, but I wanna get rid of that notification box so I can show you that you can also download this report, but then start collecting all the URLs, make a list of the options where you don't want your search ads to appear. So now that you have collected your list of URLs, we need to go back and get out of reporting. Yes, I want to leave. And they took us back to the settings view because that's where I was. But then let's click on one of the campaigns. Still within the settings, we can scroll down. Again, you need to be in the advanced settings. And here we can paste in the websites we want to exclude from our search campaigns. I just took the five that had the most impressions and essentially almost all of the audience network spend. There were a ton more out there, but most of them didn't even get clicks, so they're not using ad spend. So in this case, I'll take the free brand awareness. Scroll down, click save. Now they took us back to the ad group, but I would have to go back and do this for every single search campaign. Now you're probably asking, hey Joe, what about website exclusion lists? Similar to the placement exclusion list in Google. That's a good question. If we go up to tools, we do see website exclusion lists. And this is where your excitement should deflate. Because if I highlight this section right here, it's saying website exclusion lists can only be created at the manager account level. So we're in the Paid Media Pros MCC. We have a bunch of other clients. And like I said, in some of them, audience networks do okay. And we don't want to exclude certain URLs from them. So we would have to create one at our MCC manager account level that would affect all of our clients. So the typical account level website exclusion list is not really account level, it's manager account level. And this is why this option for us would be to do it campaign by campaign. But one thing you can do is open up your Microsoft editor. I understand that it might be a little small on the screen, I apologize. But when you have your campaign highlighted, you can go to advanced options and there you will see website exclusions. They also have you drop it down here under keywords and targeting. But I can just highlight the exclusions that I just added, copy them, highlight the other campaigns, add them as campaign level for all of them. It's up to you if you wanna do it at the ad group level. Now I pasted them all there and I'm gonna post them live. For me, that's a quicker way to do it than even the manager account. I will be honest, I haven't even looked at the manager account exclusion list. There could be a way to say, create a list just for this specific account under my manager account. It could be totally possible. But for me, it's just easier to copy and paste it with an editor. And now they're all set. And while it's kind of a pain in the butt that we have to do this extra step, it's still not that hard to segment your search campaigns by network to see how the audience network is actually performing for your search campaigns. If you're not happy with the audience network, just go up to your reports, review the placement report, collect the list of URLs, and start adding them as website exclusions. Google isn't the only one that's taking features away from us. Clearly Microsoft is as well, but at least we can try to block out these websites to keep the level of intent deeper for our search campaigns. If you have any other tips that you wanna share with the paid media community on any other workarounds that you have to exclude the audience network since this change, please share it in the comments below. Thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up below. If you really liked it, maybe think about subscribing to the Paid Media Pros YouTube channel and you'll get alerted every time a new video drops. If you really, really liked it, you can help support the channel by checking out some of the t-shirts that we're wearing on our merch shelf, as well as looking at the Super Thanks button.